to my channel and welcome to a what I wore in a week. I haven't done a video like this in so long and I thought I would start it today because I'm going thrifting today. It's a Saturday and so I'm in my little thrift getup. I am also filming this thrift with me so I'm filming two videos at once. How ambitious am I you guys? All right so let us let us talk about the outfit. This crop top I thrifted and I don't think I ever showed you guys in a haul all the thrift with me. I thrifted it one day and I didn't bother showing it because it's not really that special but it's just an amazing singlet top tank top with this gorgeous neckline which is just my thing because it's high neck and I just love the cut how it just shows off your shoulders I just love it it's cropped it's fitted it's ribbed it's in a hundred percent cotton I just love it and it was like one dollar you guys so my skirt I did show you guys in a thrift with me. I love it. It's vintage and it's in this gorgeous scarf print. I mean, it's just beautiful, the colors, and it's a gorgeous midi length and I just love it. And on my feet, as you can see, I am wearing my slip-on loafers because that is just what I wear when I thrift so I can try on shoes, easy, easy access, try things on underneath my skirt and slip things on over my top. Now for my bag, I am going to take my Oriton little satchel, just a little crossbody that is hands-free, so easy and light and gorgeous and I love it. I just love this bag. So, my friends, this is outfit number one for my Saturday day of thrifting. See you guys tomorrow. Happy Sunday to you, my friends. Please don't mind my hair. It has been the worst summer on record here in Australia. The humidity, the rain, the floods, it's, it's been a disaster. It's like one thing after another, we cannot catch a break. And it's just, anyway, don't mind the hair, but I am wearing a thrifted Lakers tee. I love it. It's so, so me right now. I'm, I'm really into the sporty vibes, just very laid back, very casual, but I think it's kind of very stylish. These jeans are also new. I got them from H&M. The jeans were a sale purchase, actually. You're not going to believe it, but I found them for 15 bucks at H&M. I am so into the distressing, you know, for a while there, I was just not into it because it was so on trend. And now that it's not on trend i love it i love how high-waisted they are and they are also 100 percent cotton so they're a beautiful thick rigid cotton and i just love them the sneakers are also h&m as well from last year they're the chunky dad style sneakers and i like that they have a little bit of a yellow trim to pick up the yellow in my tea i'm kicking it with my kid today we're going to run some errands together and then maybe grab some lunch not sure what we're going to do and this is the bag that i'm taking this bag has been a workhorse in my wardrobe i'm telling you guys it's so cool i took this all over the states when i traveled a couple of years ago to new york and la and hawaii and i just love it i love that you can wear it as a crossbody camera bag or you know a little bit shorter like i have at the front or even a handbag if you like but it's just such a cool bag and that my friends is my sunday ootd so i shall see you guys tomorrow good morning my sweet friends happy monday to you i am just finishing off getting ready, just putting on my jewelry. You guys, I'm no longer wearing rings on my ring finger. I have been told, actually scolded by my women friends that if I wear rings on my ring finger, men will look at it and think, well, she's taken and therefore I am unapproachable. My argument to them though was, my rings are clearly not engagement or wedding band looking. So, I mean, isn't it obvious that apparently men don't look into details, they just see a flash of gold on your finger and assume that, nope, she's married. So I'm testing their theory and not wearing rings on my ring finger 
for a while at least. So I've always got the same rings on. This ring is antique and I brought it back from Hawaii. So it's black onyx with a diamond in the center. I absolutely love that ring. And these two bands are my mother's and father's wedding bands. They no longer wear them because they don't fit. They haven't fit their fingers for years. They pass them down to me. They are so very sentimental and I love them so much. My heart locket necklace is from Hawaii as well. It's Italian made and it's a beautiful locket with a little cardiogram on the front and it opens up and you can put a picture in there. I still have not put a picture in there after all this time. I haven't worn my heart locket necklace in so long because I've been wearing a different necklace that my son got me for Christmas, which is also gorgeous. But I thought I'd wear it today. I'm wearing something very simple on top and it's kind of on display and I love it. Don't mind my hair. We have been having the most horrible, humid, rainy weather. It has been quite disastrous, very sad. Thousands upon thousands of people have lost their homes. New South Wales and Queensland is, is flooded. It is just very, very sad, you guys, very sad. And um, back to superficial things, well, you know, the humidity, it just will not work with my hair. So I just got to forget about my hair for the minute because I put so much time and effort into it and then it just frizzes up. There's no point. So I've just pulled it back and did a little plait. So this top, you have seen me wear this top so much. It's a Zara linen cotton blend crop top that I got in their sale for 10 bucks. I got one in black as well. They are the best things ever. This skirt is vintage and I thrifted it not too long ago and I absolutely love it. I didn't at first it was in my make ugly vintage look cute video and truly at first I just was not into these colors but I absolutely love it now I chose to wear my naked sandals style it up a little bit differently than I did in the video I love naked sandals you know especially when you have a pretty pedicure and I call them naked sandals because it's obvious it's just basically you know a leather strap around your ankle and your big toe and your whole foot is on display and they're they're totally flat totally comfortable and perfect for this weather maybe not for the rain though okay the bag I am taking is this cute little crossbody straw bag that I thrifted also not too long ago I just love this shape and how small it is I mean how cute is this bag my friend seriously it's so gorgeous right I love it and so that is my OOTD for today I am out to film a thrift with me today I didn't end up filming on Saturday I got there I started I was in it about 40 minutes I just had to stop I couldn't manage my pain I had a terrible weekend to be honest it just I just wasn't well so other than take my kid to get a haircut yesterday we ran a few errands I've just been resting the whole weekend so hopefully today will be a success and anyway enough rambling I will see you guys tomorrow Tuesday morning I've just gotten back from running a few errands I wanted to go to my favorite coffee shop and you know I had planned on going and taking my laptop and just having a coffee and doing some work because Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my computer days but they were shut it must be due to all this wet weather this rain this this flooding that we are having here over in New South Wales and Queensland. It's so bad, you guys. I just feel so badly for people who have just lost everything, everything to to this disastrous flooding. I mean, it's, it's just, oh, it's so upsetting. But anyway, they were shut, so I just posted off a few things, grabbed a coffee from 7-Eleven. I'm going to spend the rest of the day in bed just doing computer work. So this is a tea that I thrifted 
on eBay. So I love Led Zeppelin and I mean, I love this tea. The shape is a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of very long, so I've tucked it into my shorts, but I still love it. I love the colorway of the graphic. It's a beautiful cotton, so I love it. The Bermuda shorts that I have on are from H&M. They are a new purchase, actually. I popped in there on the weekend when I went and got Gabe his haircut, and I can't help but look in their sales section. I'm just a freak for H&M and Zara sales. I just love them. And when I saw these in my size, in a size 10, because I sold my Levi's ones, which look pretty much exactly like this. They were Levi's 501s, but they were just too big on me. And so these ones fit me perfectly. They have the same vibe. They're 100% cotton. They're absolutely just gorgeous and I'm so glad that I've replaced them. I've got a cute other denim shorts that are quite you know short and cheeky and I wear those on holiday but a pair like this you know I will wear with a blazer and some loafers you know you can dress it up dress it down and so on my feet I'm just wearing my little blowfish star trainers the laceless ones that I got where did I get these from TK Maxx that's right and to be honest I'm actually going to take them off and wear my Zara little fur slides because I'm home now I'm not going back out they're just the most comfiest slides and I do wear these out as well no makeup today except for mascara eyeliner and lip balm that's it the hair still in a ponytail not doing anything with it not going to wash it until probably Thursday so it's fresh for the weekend that my friends is my Tuesday gosh anyway that's my Tuesday outfit I'll see you guys tomorrow for another outfit Bye. Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday today, and guess what? It stopped raining. It has. It's still very gloomy and grey, but hopefully this will be the end to the rain because God knows people can just not take any more, any more rain. It's just becoming dangerous. People have died. You know, people have been swept away in the floods. It's, it's so sad, you guys, what is going on. And the world feels like a very, very different place to me at the moment. Nothing is the same anymore. And I feel the energy of the world is very heavy. And anyone I talk to seems to have, you know, some kind of bad news. It's it's just a very low vibration at the moment. I think that it's important for us to remain positive and not give negative situations too much energy without sounding insensitive. I just think that what energy we put out is what we attract. So if we're all walking around feeling miserable, that the world sucks, that there's no good people in the world, then that is what we will attract anyway. I'm just off on a tangent but I feel like I have to mention something when when things are so dire in the world anyway my plans today are to go back to my coffee shop hopefully it will be open today so I can do some computer work I do have to run a few errands I have a package to ship off and I need to stop at the shops and get a couple of things so I am wearing a very very old blouse by Free people, I've had this for so many years. I love the back. I love the very delicate cuff detail and it's in a beautiful, soft, gauzy kind of cotton. Free people pieces tend to stay in my wardrobe for a really long time. I got this one from overseas. The skirt is H&M. I've had it for years, a couple of years now. I love it. I love H&M denim period. And the shoes that I'm wearing are my Adidas Continental trainers. They are, I have not worn these in so long and my mum washed them for me and they look like brand new again. I mean, she's amazing. She did the laces, the leather, she scrubbed them. She just brought them back to life. And you know, I forgot how much I love these. They're such a classic sneaker. However, they are not the most comfortable. I will say that. So just a simple black and white OOTD, very casual. You know, the weather's cool down as well. So that's why I can wear a long sleeve with a short skirt. And this is very signature for me, wearing something, you know, short on the bottom and long sleeve on the top. I think it's a beautiful balance and vice versa. If I'm wearing something very kind of bearing on the top, I like to wear a full length pant, but I love the balance that a long sleeve shirt and a blazer makes with say, you know, denim cutoffs. That's just a look I love. And so I'm taking my tote bag, which I don't use 
very often, but on days when I need my computer, I'm going to do that kind of thing. It's really the only bag that works. So that, my friends, is my outfit for this very gloomy grey Wednesday. I so hope that my coffee shop is open because... I am just really in the mood to, you know, sit in a coffee shop, work on my computer, have a coffee, maybe a chai latte as well. I miss those and I love them when it comes like winter time. I was addicted to those at one time. Anyway, getting sidetracked, but yeah, all right, I will, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <music> friends it's Thursday morning my video just went live I titled it well it's a three with me the one with two parts so hopefully you guys are enjoying that I have a doctor's appointment today which is usual for me because that's where you'll find me at my doctor with my surgeon this is just the way things are after my spinal surgery so yep i'm off to the doctors and of course i'm going to grab a coffee before then my appointment's at 12 15 what is it 20 to 11 so i have a bit of time to grab a coffee because the appointment's not very far and so i decided to wear something you know old from my wardrobe so this top is thrifted it's by the label Tibby and it's in this gorgeous pink color and I love this tank it's really really beautiful the pants are H&M the belt came with and they are in a gorgeous tan color and one of my favorite color combinations is pink and tan so just love these pants they are very voluminous you guys I'm not kidding how voluminous are these pants they're like balloon trousers aren't they but I do love them I love the color I love that they're high-waisted and almost a um, paper bag waist and I just love the way it looks paired with this gorgeous pink top my shoes my friends are new I bought these from my little getaway to Edelong Beach they are gorgeous I am really surprised I bought something that's quite chunky because I'm normally not into a chunky shoe, but I felt that these were just gorgeously made. I just love the patina of the tan patent leather and then the just matte sort of darker tan leather, the white soles, the chunky tractor sole kind of vibe. I love them. They're kind of really old school as well. And I am just a loafer girl. And these are the first time I'm wearing them. So I really, really love them. And they seem to be very comfortable. But I guess the test will be after wearing them for a, a couple of hours. So that, my friends, is my outfit. The bag I'm taking is my Coach Parker backpack, which, you know, you can wear as a shoulder bag, a handheld bag, or a backpack. I usually wear it kind of one shoulder, just like that. And I got this bag from a consignment store in Hawaii, and it was a great deal. And I absolutely love the vintage vibes that this bag has, even though it's not vintage. It's a modern style. I thought it worked well with the tan in my outfit. And so that is the outfit. And the sun is out. The rain has stopped and the sky is blue. So I am just so happy about that. I hope you guys are enjoying this new kind of vlog style what I wore. It's quite different from my previous what I wore videos. I just thought these were more kind of cool and relaxed and kind of take you with me on my day what I get up to and yeah I hope you're enjoying it. If you prefer the other way I used to film them let me know and I'll go back to that formula but anyway I'm gonna get going and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last outfit. Okay bye!
Good morning to you, my friends. It's Friday today, the final day of my what I wore day in my life style vlog. There goes my phone. Okay, so today I am off to get some blood work done. It's quarter to 11 and then at 12.15, I think I'm meeting up my friend for lunch at Beachy's, which is a really cute hotel in Tukli and they've renovated it and they have this beautiful outdoor area, bistro style food. It's gonna be so yum, I can't wait. That's what I have planned for today. Of course, I'm gonna go take my photo and grab a coffee and I guess that will be all. I'll come home and just edit the rest of this um, video to upload on Sunday. So what I am wearing today is a dress that I got from New York and no actually it was Hawaii. I got it from Hawaii. It's from Anthropology. It's a few years old but I haven't worn it in a long time. I just didn't want this vlog to be all new things. I want to be real. I'm not a very trendy person and so a lot of the items in my wardrobe stick around for a very long time. I mean I love this dress. It's so pretty. It was the print that got me. I think this sleeve is so pretty. It's perfect for the weather we're having at the moment. It's a shirt style dress. It has pockets. It's just so comfortable. It's multicolored. It's fun. It's festive and I love it. Let me give you a full length look of my dress. When I shop overseas, Anthropology and Free People, I guess, are my two favorite destinations because I just love their pieces and I always go to their sales section and get some great bargains and this was one of them. This was I think two or three hundred dollars. I think I ended up paying about 50 bucks for it. The sales overseas in the States are nothing like Australia. I mean sales are real sales. I don't find Australian retail interesting. If I am shopping retail in Australia it's usually H&M and Zara which again is you know an overseas chain. I'm not interested in witchery and country road and all these Australian brands. They're just not me. I think they're very overpriced. They are mass produced. They are not designer and I'm just not into it. So I love boutique shopping, you know, outdoor boutique shopping and thrifting. And then when I go overseas, that's when I do some really good retail therapy. Anyway, I am rambling. I am off on a tangent. This is my dress. I love the pockets. It's so cute. And so I decided to wear my Vans. I hope the camera is focusing because I haven't got my glasses on and I can't even tell. These are my Vans with a little pop of red. I thought they tied in nicely with the dress as my dress has definitely a pop of red. And so yeah, I just love these Vans. I got them a little while ago. I think I've had them for about six months. They're a beautiful cream suede with a white sole and a pop of red. And they're just very retro looking and I absolutely love them. They go with so many outfits. So the bag I've decided to go with is my vintage Italian handbag that I thrifted. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous bag. Again, another pop of red to pick up the red in my dress and I just love this bag. I think it's so beautiful and I'm kind of trying to steer away from wearing my bags crossbody. I think it's time I started styling my bags differently and I think wearing it just over my shoulder like this is kind of cute and a little bit more sophisticated. But you know, I am a tomboy at heart. I just can't help it. The necklaces I have on are my heart locket and the necklace that I was talking to you about that my son got me. Let me see if I can focus in on it. It's very dainty, very delicate. It has a tiny little arrow. Can you see that arrow? It's so pretty. I just love very, very barely there pieces. I think they're very very sweet and um, sexy at the same time for some reason. But anyway, you guys, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed all the outfits. And so that, my friends, I guess is what I wore in a week. I am wearing my hair straight, you guys. It seems to be the easiest way on my neck to wear my hair straight. The curling wand and the mermaid waver just trigger my pain too much. So I think I'm gonna wear my hair straight for a little while. I quite like it, especially with the blunt cut that I have. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Come follow me on Instagram 
I post my outfits, I do little mini thrift with me's, I've started getting into the reels, you know, trying to up my game a little bit over on Instagram. I am the Joe Deedee's Aesthetic Everywhere. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.